Pageant Patriots. Since we are not meeting at Pageant right now, I wanted to come to you and share a quick read aloud of one of my favorite selections. And during it, I want you to be thinking about Alexander's Bad Day. Because when we're done, if you will do a quick bubble map that shows what made Alexander's day so bad from Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Then have the adult in your house, take a picture of it or add it to the packet of work that you're going to be doing for, for school. And I'd love to see it. Moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, whoever the adult is in your house, take a picture of you doing another read aloud at home and share that picture on our Facebook page, Paget Pride Lands. We would love to see you doing a read aloud of your own. Now, on to Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. When I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I didn't get a seat by the window, I am going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell that it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell that it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend. And he said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Morio was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on attack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time that you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and it lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took all of us to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And when I started crying because of the, of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and for fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I said. No one even answered. So then we went downstairs to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. 
When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was as careful as I could be except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says, some days are like that. Even in Australia. Boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed the selection today. Alexander and the Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Viorst. Now, if you'll take a moment, you can do a quick bubble map. What made Alexander's day so bad? What were some of the details from the read aloud? Moms and dads, aunts and uncles, grandmas and grandpas, one of the quickest way to help our students read fluently is to do read alouds. They can read some, you can read some, you can read the whole thing, they can read the whole thing, and then ask a few questions about it. Join me again later this week. I'll have another quick little snippet of something to do at the house as we're not meeting at school right now. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everybody.